All right, Shalom Rastafari. We're continuing in this um, inspired uh, series right here, um, seeing that, <coughs> seeing that um, Hanukkah, Hanukkah is coming up um, on the eighth, right? And it's the festival of light for eight days. Mm-hmm. Now, how do we receive this? This that's the key thing. Well, Yeshua says, take. Take take heed, right, right. Um, um, take heed to how you hear. Like take care to how we hear. Yeah, to be attentive to how we hear, how we shema. Mm-hmm. Now, if we do it in the way of the Jews, basically, it's a it's a ritual, right? Let's let's go right here. Let's bring this up as we go forward. Because we just want to touch. We're going to touch on this a little bit more as well seeing that we're coming to you know we're coming to revelations in this time of uh revelation so let's go to this site right here all right let's go to this site right here and this particular site right here is interesting some beta is rael some beta is rael lejoch 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 yazare lejoch your nigga Frey Woj. All right, so here we have, um, all right, all right, let's see if this is the, yeah, this is the same site right here. All right, let's see if we can blow this up. Okay, blow this up for you a little bit right here. These beautiful youths, right? Yeah, you know, Yeshua says, uh, um, um, suffer the youths, you know, like, you know, like, uh, um, the, the youths, I mean, this is, this is for the youths. Like we, we, we really have to, you know, rise up, get up, stand up in Christ. You understand? Get up and stand up in Christ. Like it's all about that, that, that resurrection, you understand, in spirit and in truth. You understand? Rising. You understand? Cause we, we're passing through like a, uh, um, what they call it, a deep density. They call it dark matter, the densest part of the universe. And it, it's interesting if you if you um, listen to some of the, you know, the brothers and sisters out there who who know the science of it and are able to interpret it in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a Christ way. You understand? Because you know they they are Christian. You understand? They might not be. You understand? Like you know, my father's house is many mansions, so it might not be a nine nine mansion. But it's interesting, and, and many of them I, I I give thanks for because they have helped to supply some of the, um, you know, evidence and insight that I and I needed to to really complete what were my theories on some things. But then getting that additional information and comparing it, even some in some cases expanded um, certain revelations and really um, helped I and I to even walk in it. This is why study is so important. So let's go over this right here, the healing light of Hanukkah. Now I think this also has a Beta Israel. Okay, these are NPR, right? NPR Blacks. Of the Jewish faith and Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Uh, it's good that some are beginning to recognize that this is the beautiful thing. You know, for saying we should give thanks and and bless them in the name of Yahweh, Yehovah's, so that they may um, also grow. Now that's some crazy stuff right there, Yehovah's. But l- look at this beautiful picture. Now the story of Maccabee still speak to us today. This is what it's talking about. So we have the Hanukkah, 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 and the Maccabee connection. Now, Maccabee means a hammer, like Madosha. Just a little interesting point right there. Now, we have Rastafari. We often speak about the book of Maccabees. And this is what the elders have passed on to us. They, they told us, don't forget about the Maccabee and the Maccabee Bible. right? So Hanukkah, is connected with that. So this this most definitely is one of I and I Rastafari um 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 holy days in, in revelation of the King of Kings and his Christ. 
But now what we need to do is to study and show ourselves approved. You understand? So we can see that, that blessing, that revelation that's already in his word, you understand, for us in this day and time. So the story of Maccabees it still speaks to us today. Lighting our homes with faith, right? I, I had asked, well, how are we to receive the Hanukkah? You understand? How are we to receive it? Is it just to uh, burn the candles, you understand? I mean, that's one aspect, and if you're going to do that, then definitely be safe, brothers and sisters, you understand? Definitely do this in a, in a safe and a responsible way, um, and take care, you understand? Um, lighting our homes with faith, with amen, right? And filling our hearts, now they say right here, with pride, right? We say filling our hearts with the love of Moshiach, with the love of Yeshua, you understand, with the grace, filling our hearts with the grace of Yeshua, you understand, lighting our homes. Now, let, let's understand that when we say home, we do speak of the say home is where the heart is, and the heart is the consciousness, you see. The home is where the heart is, and the heart is where the consciousness is. So we have this beautiful picture right here, a very beautiful picture right here. Of the Beta Israel, right? Of, of I and I people, the Beta Israel of the East, because we are the Beta Israel of the West, of, and in the Americas and the Caribbean, coming out of Babylon. Now, this is an Ethiopian Jewish embroidery, um, and it's a menorah, right? With 12 tribes. Wow, I, that's what I just read down there. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. The menorah with the 12 tribes. All right, this is on the page um, Mocha Juden. Mocha Juden, and it's called The Healing Light of Hanukkah. All right, The Healing Light. The Healing Light. And then who is our healer? Yeshua HaMoshiach. Jesus Christos, the glory of Abba, Caduce, 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 is our healer, right? So, anyway, so it's going to go into some other things. I wanted just to show you that right there, right? But let's go over this right here within the time that we have in this, uh, in this uh, short segment right here. Um, and this is from December 16th, uh, 2011. Now, what's interesting is that... Um, Hanukkah for 2012, right? The Hanukkah 2012, which is very, very important. Not in a outer ritual way. So if you don't have the menorah, you understand? Don't don't think that you have to run out and buy candles and whatever like that. Well, um, um, but unpack this gift, uh, the word. Unpack this, my brothers and sisters, right? Um. Go and, and search, you know, search this out. You know what I'm saying? Search this link right here out as well. Um, the, the name of it is the Healing Light of Hanukkah, right? And um, you can search for it by the name, and you can look at the picture. When you find that picture of the beautiful of the beautiful um, youths, right? Right there, the cute youths, blacks, and Jewish faith in Hanukkah, right? You know you got the right page. All right, so let's just read this right here because it's going over the different, the, the various nights. The miracle of Hanukkah is not just about a little bit of oil lasting eight days, right? Not just a little bit, bit of oil. But remember, oil too, you have to unpack it. Oil, you know, when you study the word oil in, in the scriptures in connection firstly with, with our Rebbe, with the Moshiach, with Yeshua, with Jesus Christos, with our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You study his word in the Gospels. What does he teach about oil? So make that be the beginning of your study. And then go, go over it like theologically, topically, you understand, as it's found in the scriptures. If you have a Schofield study Bible, that's an excellent place to begin. It is about the inner healing light, right? The inner healing light, receiving, you understand, and, and what does John, John's gospel say, right, right, that, that 
that he came to bear witness of the light, but John the Baptist wasn't the light. But now Yeshua, the Moshiach, he is I and I light, right? Within each of I and I, to the glory of his majesty. Hanukkah is a time when we can celebrate, that means honor, this inner healing light as we move toward wellness, as we move towards Tana, as we move towards Zion, as I and I come out of Babylon and move towards Zion. Very significant, right? Very significant Hanukkah, all right? Hanukkah is also about the miracle of survival. You know what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters? Why is Hanukkah important to I and I? Why is it important? Why is this why is this Hanukkah, this Rastafari Hanukkah important? Because it's about survival of black survivors, right? Against all odds, against all oddballs, all, all screw faces. You understand? Know it's about survival. You understand? Know Inja Rastafari through our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. It's about hope. The true promise. What is that promise of Abba? What is that promise of Yeshua? It's about hope. It's about courage. Courage like the lion of the tribe of Judah, like our father, like Adamawi Haile Selassie. And belief or Amen or for I and I in living faith, it's about the hymenot, right? I and I living faith in one's ability. Right to overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles, because that right there is the gift of God in Christ for I and I in Moshiach. While others are looking for Moshiach, we have Moshiach. Right, we're looking for Moshiach to unveil and reveal Himself, but He is with us in spirit and in truth. He is I and I life giving. He's a life giving spirit. Recognize that, my brothers and sisters. Now, um, here it says that the Hanukkah light candle lighting blessings. Now, remember, it's about oil, and now they light candles. So that that's very much different according to the the, the ritual part of it, right? And, and there is a significant kind of a difference right there. So keep in mind that the, the candle stand in its original Jah given way is an 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 oil and it's based on it, it lights on oil. It's it's a lamp stand, right? Remember that. that there's difference. See in the European as it came out of Africa and went into Europe, this is where the candle, the using of a candle, right? But in this original Torah given, right, it is it is about a, a, a oil lamp, right, or lamp stand. So on the first night, right, on the first night for the barakat of well-being and transformation that flows from this season, right, from the light as above, so below, we light this candle or we light this inner light for the tena, for the health and the wellness of I and I mind, right, oh, 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 for, for the health and the wellness, the first night for I and I bodies. You could, uh, right? The first for I nine bodies. On the second night for I nine minds, right? On the third night for I nine souls, right? On the fourth night for I nine children. On the fifth night for I nine parents. On the sixth night for I nine communities, right? On the seventh night, right? We light this light for the restoration of Dana, of health and wellness to the Rastafari community, for those who are ill, right, for those who are suffering, for those who are grieving in the name of the Moshiach Yeshua. Amen. Amen. For the barakat of well-being and transformation that flows from this season, we light this light for the tena, for the health and the wellness of our world, not their world or the world, but Jah's world, right? And that's on the eighth night. Now, there's a shamash here. It says, for the barakat of well-being and transformation that flows 
through the Sekina or the Shekinah, the Shekinah, right? The glory of God, right? The glory of Yahweh, of he who be who he be, his gracious majesty, the source of healing, wisdom, and I and I inner light in our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Amen. Amen.